What's going on, Workforce? Brian here. Chris here. And today we're going to be diving into the concept of burnout. In fact, uh, if you guys saw yesterday's video, kind of us kind of breaking down the lazy peon video, the absolute state of MMOs. After we filmed that video, Chris and I just started talking about how we think lazy peon is burned out. And this isn't a video about lazy peon and him being burned out. It's the concept of burnout. We, we talked about it for 20 minutes and I was like, well, we should have filmed some of that. I think some of that was like worth y'all's conversation. So in a more directed way, we're going to uh, talk about video game burnout. If you guys are also interested after this video, Chris and I are both going to be streaming some Guild Wars 2 on uh, you know, on Twitch. So you can go over to Twitch, check it out. We're going to be playing his first time. Irony of uh, a character that I've had uh, for a while. I'm going to be attempting mouse and keyboard. I do know there are some controller things that I've tested out in the past. So come bear with me. Watch the chaos that unfolds as my uh, unskilled uh, hands work on a keyboard and mouse for an MMORPG. So um, all that kind of being said, I want to kind of talk about burnout. And Chris, like you were the most passionate uh, in our conversation about it, uh, talking about houses burning down and so much fire. Uh, so why don't you go ahead and give, uh, you know, give a high level summary of what we're, what no, we're doing No, so I, I think, I think what ends up happening is humans naturally shift into rut. So we shift into what's comfortable and that's because we're always pushed out of that in some aspect of our life. So it's easiest to take the parts of our life that are controlled and control those. And with video games, there's there's no reason to do that. You can be in discomfort. And so the contrast is, yes, we were talking for the last 20 minutes partially about Lazy Peon's post and other creators that we've seen go through this. But we were also talking about the fact that you're now using, you're now trying to get better at the game and you're using a tool to do that in Final Fantasy 14. I'm bringing uh, terms. <laughs> and and so as you as you do that, it's making you play a little bit differently. It's making you do your rotations a little bit differently and you're making small changes and it's invigorating your gameplay and it's making you do content that you wouldn't do otherwise in a way that now all your jobs are capped. You really haven't had anything to drive you in a good long time, but it's not a new way to play. It's mm. not a new way to experience the game. It's just new to you. Yeah. And so I think what ends up happening is when we talk about burnout, you know, when I burned out a wow and I look back, yes, the game did change. Yes, there is some fault on the game for driving me to that point. But a whole lot of the problem was on this side of the keyboard. A whole lot of the problem was that I had put a set of expectations on a game and then I had put a set of actions to reach those expectations. And when it failed to get there, I just kept doing the same thing over and over. And when it kept failing to get there, I just kept doing it. And then I burned out and I switched games entirely. And now I play Final Fantasy and I've gone back to WoW and I'm playing it the way I play 14 and I really like it. Mm -hmm. And so it was always there, yeah. but it was, it was me that was the problem. And so I, I think when we looked to Lazy Peon, he had talked about how he has these initial impressions of game and there's no innovation. But when you go look at his channel, he spends the majority of his time doing things like initial impressions, reviews, and all these high level things. And at a high level, all these games are alike. And so when you do something like, the, one of the reasons he got a lot of hate from the 14 community is Skip Story, because it's not his thing. You have that right. Yeah. But if you do that, and then you say this game doesn't offer anything unique, but you skipped over the thing that it said was its most unique feature, then, part of the blame a part of that is because you didn't give it a chance to be unique in the way it's unique you can't just introduce yourself to 27 people and hear all their first names and then go yeah i mean their names were different but they were all kind of the same well do you know anything about them no here here's my take on it because i think it gets uh more complicated when especially you dive into the world of content creation and let's say, you know, within the Final Fantasy, we, we've seen a lot of content creators come up and quote, like, and people will put it as burnout, but there's an energy that people get from content creation. And so then all of a sudden you make a video, it does well, you do a stream and people show up and it's all fun and games and having a good time. The same thing can be applied outside of Final Fantasy. And this is essentially where the risk, the we I've kind of counseled a couple of people who are like, I'm a variety streamer, that's great. And, you know, like you have a lot of success when a, a new game is out and people show up for that new game. But then after time, it kind of trickles away. And so that there's that sense of almost in a way of a dating relationship from the variety perspective to where you build yourself up to where you're you're never really settling down. You're never really kind of mastering or finding that that wonderful thing that can be like a relationship that I have, like with Final Fantasy 14, 11 years, like coming up on it, you know, like and it's I, I am proud of that fact. And that it takes a lot like a relationship that long 
like it yeah. with a video game takes a whole nother level of, of structure like when it's first brand new and you see this happen with every patch lots of excitement but there's also highs and lows in terms of any kind of gameplay and for me my choice has always been play something else do something else for the variety person though they're already baked in on that so like my advice would be like settle down <laughs> you know just right. like find something right. that you love to do and just do that become an expert in that thing but in right. the case of lazy peon like he started off like big into wow and then he's gotten into the sense where you're just kind of tasting things just like you said you're never really getting to have that intimate relationship uh with it and i think there's a risk there from a content creation perspective because as somebody who consumes content not speaking of like the work to game in the workforce but as somebody who goes and likes to watch content creators like i will just usually settle into like oh i like it when they put out like mioni's tea time like i mean i enjoy mioni's tea time videos i tend not to watch the rest of the of his glamour videos and that's just the content that i choose to engage with so there's i think a risk of burnout leading into that being that you're trying to then deliver to your community what they want. So in right. the case of Lazy or in the case of any other content creator that's especially in this space, there is a giant risk in, well, they like it when I play this one game or these kind of games. I have to constantly be searching and that takes energy, that takes effort, that takes like, like it, it takes a lot, like especially if anybody, like I don't remember now because I've been dating, I dated Julie for a while and then we got married and it's been, uh, you know, over 10 years. And so it's like, okay, but there's an excitement that comes with like going out on a date, you know, for that first time and being excited and everything, and it's new and it's thrilling. And then there's also that time where that honeymoon period falls away and that's actually the probably the best time in a relationship because then you stop putting up your pretenses you stop putting out that extra energy and so does the person that you're dating and then ultimately you guys look at each other and you're like do we really like each other or did we like that electricity that we first had right. is there really substance here or is this something that's just going to fade away and i think that with I, I look at that analogy within the space of uh with content creation and within the space of burnout because Maybe it's just the honeymoon period has weirded out, you know, maybe that, that like, okay, well, wait, this is just, a, this is an MMO. This is a game. This is something like that is just like that other, you know, uh, in my case, girl that I dated. Like, yeah, they have very, like similar traits. Maybe I have a type, you know, like maybe there's right. something I, about me that like is attracted to a certain style of game or a certain class within the game and et cetera. Right. And I think that's where you have to, like, if you can recognize who you are, make a change make it like to balance both yeah and in my balance case both. i mean yeah go ahead your go wife ahead, isn't gonna like if you start dating to balance both. So maybe find another <laughs> way of getting that out of your system um that'd but be, yeah that'd be I, really I think, weird i don't I when it comes to anyway. games uh you know 14 the, the the director of 14 tells you to take breaks so he's he's telling you try dating someone else like he's whether you want that to be open or not that's his plan uh so i i think I think that you have to balance both. And so you guys see in my schedule, as I've moved into full time with January, we've been content creating in a video style format, not anything we've done before this, you've done comic books and podcasts. And, you know, we, we've both created things in the past and, and had a creative outlet. We both made this a creative outlet that's been a part of our lives for almost five years, five mm -hmm. years this summer. And uh, at the end of the summer. So when, when we get there five years of doing this and in that time, it's meant different things. It's taken different levels of energy from both of us. And now I'm full time as of January. And when I look at that and I look at the times I've taken breaks and what I've, what I've felt in certain games, what I've felt in certain content creation, what I have felt in previous jobs and career paths that I've been on is I, I do have at this point, like you said, I know my type, mm -hmm. I know the patterns that I fall into. And so I know how to safeguard myself against those patterns. It doesn't mean I'll be successful, but I know how to do my best. Step one, I have a partner that can hold me accountable. Mm -hmm. I have somebody I share this journey with that Brian can say, Chris, I'm seeing this tendency come up. You doing all right? And so that, that helps keep yeah. me on path. But I can also say, you know, and this is just talking from content creation, but this applies to consuming games as well. I, I am baking into the formula of what I cover on Gaming Kinda, what we cover here on work to game and, and how we cover it, things from podcast format and the games we play. You guys see me immediately with, with let, like three months on the, on the clock, you see me adding another MMO. You see me playing another MMO that's just different. You see me like, you see me doing these things because I'm baking in some variety, but I'm not moving all the way 
into that kind of dating phase, as you call it. I'm not saying, okay, I'm full time now. Time to, you know, you're like, I'm ready for a relationship. Step one, leave your wife and go back to dating. That's not how that works. And so 14 <laughs> is still a major, major part of that. And yeah. so it's saying, hey, it's time to make other friends. It's time to have hobbies and passions because I've settled into something that is very comfortable, very comforting, allows me to have a deeper understanding of what I like about 14 is allowing me to grow in ways that new games can't. I'm willing to invest in story and I've never enjoyed story in MMORPGs. And that's because, you know, Ethis describes that as giving a game a lot of faith when you're willing to invest in something narratively, if it's not your thing. And I have faith that 14 will take care of me. And that comes from trust from a game that I've been playing since 2.0. And so I can trust 14 to grow in those ways I don't trust a new game to invest in their narrative. I'm still the same guy. And so I can trust 14 to grow me in those ways, but then I can, in the areas where it feels like two tomes in a raid and mm -hmm. eh, you know, like the expert roulette has two dungeons on it. Come on guys. That's not a roulette. That's a, that's a, that's an expert a coin, coin flip. flip. Yeah. And so like, I can go, okay, I want more dungeon content. You know what has more dungeon content? The rest of the genre. And so I can go play other games and get that sense of variety that sometimes I feel like playing 14 for so many years on end starts to lack. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, burnout's a real thing. Well, we've talked about it in terms of, especially as you build up to an expansion and Walker is coming out this fall. And one of the things that tends to mask burnout can also be hype. And oh, yeah. we've, we've covered it like in a couple years ago. In fact, we're like, Hey guys, you know, it's like, uh, it was a, yeah. Shadowbringers or even Stormblood. It's like, just know that like hype will pull you into the game. So if you're already starting to kind of question, like, am I burning out? Like, am I kind of tired? Am I kind of fatigued of doing this, this grind or playing this way or experiencing this piece of content? Like note that you're going to have that masked by yep. the expansion hype. Hype will say, no, I'm not burnout. This is great. I'm excited. This is coming. This, this is coming. I cannot wait. Um, and so just as a note, like try to, it's kind of more or less, this video is more about just trying to know yourself more than anything else. Like just learn who you are in terms of that. So you can balance that. We meet people and they're like, some people get it from one game. They, they get it from one different game. content within the same game. Exactly. We've seen people like, I never been out of this game. Like as soon as I'm kind of tired of doing this, I go do that. And I, and it's such, it's such a That's great thing. Said. Yeah, exactly. And uh, yeah, good point. Especially with Zeppelin guys, if you guys aren't following her, be sure to do so. Um, the core of it, like that I want to just say is like, yeah, like just note that, you know, it's okay to change up the game, change up your, your style, change up your job, change up your thing. You know, maybe not your wife or your spouse or your husband, you know, it's like, you Round know, like, yeah, like <laughs> traditionally. Yeah. Uh, the core of it is that, you know, try to identify that within yourself and just have that honest conversation with yourself and note that it's, it's perfectly reasonable, perfectly acceptable and, and healthy. Now, and the same kind of like earlier when I was talking about if like that variety content, if you're always jumping from game to game to game and you're just like feeling kind of like down and stuff like that, maybe change it up, stick with something, push yourself into an area and see if, and explore it and find out that if you uh, like it or not. And if you already know you don't, well then yeah, like learn that about you. It turns out like I, I never really, you know, I'm not a big melee, uh, you know, physical melee person within 14. I love samurai though. Like I would like, if y'all were, weren't encouraging that, I would have never stepped into that and found that yeah. I actually love that game, that game, that job. I tank now. Chris is a tank. I never now. wanted to tank in a game, and now I main tank in every game I play. I have a whole, this is a whole year of tanking for me. When he says Thank main you. tank, he's not main tank. You guys, like, I, oh, I I'm have not a, the main tank. I have Just such a, respect a for that tank. guy. That guy is so awesome. Um, <laughs> yeah. So anyway, the uh, the core of it is like that. That's kind of those are my thoughts. And in yeah. in the context of yesterday's video, like. I do have that massive concern. That's why when when we talk about it, I go, one of the reasons why we've continually been here before we started splitting out and doing multiple channels is like, I got to talk about another game. Even yep. if nobody watches that video. Yep. I'm not Just doing get it, it for them. I'm doing it for me <laughs> because I want to I want to talk about that. So that's kind of the core of it. And then it turns out the best way to do that is obviously with different channels because just like I'm guilty of this, I go to the restaurant for the same chicken sandwich. I found the chicken sandwich that I like. It's there. I go over there. Oh, it turns out they got great salads. I don't care. I'm not here for the salad. I got a salad guy. 
and I'll go over there for that salad because I've But done... if you're tired of chicken, it's not necessarily that that restaurant needs to not be yeah. somewhere you can go if, if your wife or your kids want to go there. Yeah, you exactly. can just try something else. Just try something I, else. I think in the context of 14, no. we're going into an expansion. This mm -hmm. is the pre-party going into the big game, right? And so the house is getting set up, the chips are out, the drinks are out, and you're noticing you're a little tired, but you're excited. You're mm -hmm. excited. The game is going to start this fall. We are going to have a couple of people are going to start arriving through five, 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 five. It's going to start getting exciting. The house is going to get a little louder. It's going to be a really exciting year. If you know you're tired now, I know you're excited to see everybody. Yeah. Go upstairs and take a nap. Like it's not going to get easier when the game turns on. Yeah. So we know that we are going into Endwalker this fall. We don't have a date. We'll probably get one during the May 15th, 16th, probably mm -hmm. on May 15th. We'll get a date we know that take your nap now play a different type of content play a different game whatever you need to do so that we can start enjoying it as this party kicks it up a notch because if you think it's exciting to play 14 now it's a great time to get started mm -hmm. because the time to be playing at cap is coming yeah it's on its way. <laughs> all right, guys. That's the video. That's our content. Those are our thoughts on it. As always, we'd love to know your thoughts. Any and all in the comments below. Uh, are you Have you burned out before? I've always been just impressed by those who are like, I just don't burn out. And I was like, <laughs> like to them, cheers. Stronger than I, me. <laughs> I wish I had that gene. Um, but yeah, we're looking forward to having that conversation with you guys. So appreciate y'all for being here. Uh, for Work to Game, my name is Brian. My name is Chris. Thanks so much for watching. We hope you have a fantastic one. But I forgot what I was going to say because I am not actually feeling that well. <laughs> so take care. So take care. Cheers, guys.